girls, Jamie here. Not gonna lie, I'm still pretty stuck on spray painting crafts ever since doing my stencil spray art a couple weeks back. I wanna do it all over again, only this time I don't wanna hide my awesome artness indoors. I want the whole world to see. So this week I'm going to show you how to do that by getting some shoes made for walking with my decorated dip flats. Let's do it, girl. To get your kicks really kicking, you're going to need a pair of flats, scissors and a pencil, newspaper, adhesive sheets, which you can find at any craft store for $5 a pack, painter's tape, a plastic bag, and spray paint. All right, let's get started. Step one, think of a creative pattern that you want for the top of your shoe. Now the color of your design is going to be determined by the color of your flats. I'm going to go for a midnight sky theme and I want my stars to be silver, so that's why I went with a pair of silver flats. Step two, design your pattern onto your adhesive sheets. To save time, you may even be able to find adhesive sheets that come pre-patterned, such as polka dots or diamonds. I couldn't find a star design, so instead I printed out a picture of a star and cut it out using my scissors in order to make a star stencil. I'll use my pencil to trace my stencil onto my adhesive sheets. <laughs> a pencil for a stencil. A stencil pencil. That's funny. Step three, tape across the top of your shoes in order to create your dip boundary. The reason that they're called dip flats is because the top of the shoe is going to look like it was dipped into a bucket of paint. Make sure the tape is even across both shoes. Step four, using the tape as a guideline, stick your stencils to your shoe. I'm going to place all stars on the left toe, but add a crescent moon to my stars on the right. Let's add some color, shall we? When spray painting, protect your mouth from the fumes and hands from the paint. Put down newspaper too so you don't get paint all over the place. I protected the inside of my shoe with newspaper and the sole with tape. I first need to spray paint the entire shoe blue, making sure that I've taken off the tape boundary from the toe, but keeping the adhesive pattern in place. Let the paint dry for at least 10 minutes. Before spray painting your next color, you need to make sure that the paint isn't going anywhere but the toe. Re-tape your dip boundary across the toe and protect the rest of the shoe with your plastic bag. The next step is to spray paint the toe of your shoe. Let the paint dry completely. Remove all of your tape and slowly remove your stencils. And there you have it, a pair of midnight sky dipped flats. Hmm, this pattern would actually look really good on a pair of heels too. I think I know what I'm doing for the rest of the day. We now have an adorable shoe that is 100% uniquely you. We did it girl. I'm Jamie and you're on girl.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It's a star world after all. It's a star world after all. I'm moonwalking. No, you're not. No, I'm not. Not gonna lie, I'm still pretty stuck on spray painting crap. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people ask that question. <laughs>